hello guys and welcome back so now in this video we will be adding velocity and gravity okay so that the player sticks to the ground so before adding the code for that first of all we need to add a layer to our ground okay so if we select this road okay and as you can see this is this whole road so let's select all of it like this okay this is the whole road as you can see what we will do with this is add a layer to it by the name of ground okay so create a layer like that and then select ground layer like this and when you do that let me now click on the player again okay and let me check if okay so you can also add the ground layer to this weed as well okay so here is the trees and grass so what i will do i will just simply select this hole and add the ground layer click on yes change children and that is it okay you can remove the ground layer from the trees if you want but i will just leave this as it is okay and the reason i have added the ground layer to this grass because when i was creating this game and then if the player walks on this grass then it was not detecting the ground okay so that's why i've added to this grass as well okay so once you add that then also add a layer to our player as well by the name of player click on player and simply add the layer click on yes change children and right here you can also tag the player as player okay this player tag comes by default but if it doesn't then simply click on add tag click on this plus sign and add it okay so once you do all of that simply get back to the player movement and right here after the character controller reference now we need to add some variables so the first one will be of type float by the name of gravity okay this will be equals to minus 9.81 okay this is the default gravity value you can also check this value if you get back to unity click on project settings then go inside physics right here you can find the gravity value as you can see minus 9.81 Okay, so after this now we need a ground check transform okay so first of all we will create a transform reference by the name of ground check okay now just stop right here get back to unity okay click on player and inside the player create a empty game object name this as ground check okay and then what i want you to do is to move this to the bottom of the character controller so if you select the player as you can see this is the bottom area of the character controller so what i will do i will move this down right here okay as you can see it is now looking good okay so once you have that you can just simply drag and drop it inside the ground check reference right there okay make sure to do that or else your player will not be able to detect ground then once you do that then get back right here again and let's create a reference to our ground layer so we will say public layer mask let's name this as ground mask okay then after this we will create a public float by the name of ground distance and we will make this as 0 0.4 okay this will be the distance between the ground and the player feeds 
now after this we will create a private pool by the name of is grounded okay we will set this to true when the player is grounded and false if the player is not okay and also right here uh, down below the gravity let's create uh, actually let's do it right here okay we will create a private vector 3 by the name of velocity all right all of the variables are ready so now inside our update method what we're gonna do at the top we will first of all create a sphere around our ground check transform okay and what we will do by using that sphere we will check if the player feet or you can say the character controller bottom area is touching the ground or not okay we will do that okay we will create a sphere around this checks uh, check ground check okay so right here at the top what we will do we will say physics dot check sphere right here we will say ground check dot position okay because we want to create a sphere uh, around this ground check area okay and then we want the uh, distance okay between the uh, uh, ground check and the surface so right here we will pass the ground distance then at the end we will pass the ground mask okay in order to detect the ground okay and then at the start right here we will say is grounded equals to this okay so what this means this means that if the sphere is touching the surface or you can say the ground then this is grounded will be equals to true okay simple as that now right down below we will say if the is grounded is true and the velocity dot y is less than zero then this means the player is in the air so what we're gonna do we will apply a small negative value to help stick the player to the ground okay so in order to do that we will simply say velocity dot y equals to minus two and that is it so this will stick the player to the ground okay after this right here right down below this handle movement let's create a method for handling the gravity so we will name this as handle gravity okay in here we will simply say velocity dot y plus equals to gravity multiply by time dot delta time okay so what this will do this will basically smooth the player fall okay if for example if the player is falling then with the time okay with each second passing it will apply the gravity okay and then when you do that just simply right here after this handle movement we will call this handle gravity as well okay after this the last thing is to add the velocity so we will say controller dot move okay velocity multiply by time dot delta time that is it now just simply save the script get back to unity click on the player right here make sure that you apply the ground layer right here and then let's play the game okay and when you play the game 
you will notice our player movement is smooth okay as you can see okay and now if we check the gravity so for checking that what we're going to do we will just simply move the player in the upward direction as you can see the player now falls back to the ground okay as you can see so what this means that now we have the velocity and gravity applied to our player now in the next video what we will be doing we will be adding some jumping to our player so for that meet you guys in the next one